Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from the programming community. Our viewer is curious about how to find the roots of a multivariate nonlinear function while applying constraints to the input vector. Specifically, they want to know how to set ranges for each component of that vector. This is a challenge that many developers encounter, yet it seems there's limited information available on this topic. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To find the roots of a multivariate function with constraints, we can use the SciPy library in Python. First, ensure you have SciPy installed. You can do this by running the command pip install SciPy. Next, we can use the scipy.optimize.root function, which allows us to find the roots of a vector function. However, to incorporate constraints, we will need to define our own bounds. To apply constraints, we can use the bounds parameter in conjunction with the method parameter set to trust constar. This method supports constraints on the variables. Here's a simple example. Let's say we have a function f that returns a vector. We can define our initial guess x0 and the bounds for each component of x. Finally, we can call the root function with our defined parameters. This will return the roots of the function while respecting the constraints we set. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can use scipy.minimize for multivariate nonlinear solving with constraints. Just remember, your function should take a single argument, which can be a vector. For imposing bounds on a two by one vector, you can specify a lower and upper tuple for each component. You can then use these bounds as a parameter in the minimize function. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.